Hello and welcome back to the art art room, my third grade friends. Uh, this one is for you. This is your first lesson, your first art lesson of the year. All right, welcome back. Uh, uh, we have, like, like I said in the uh, in the spring, we have new standards. Okay, so we have new standards of learning. Okay, so uh, a lot of new things this year. Uh, you're watching me through video, uh, you're learning this way, and uh, also we have new standards. In our new standards, it says one of the Virginia standards of learning for third graders uh, in the visual arts is that they can use the visual art vocabulary. All right, so one of the things that we've got to start out uh, this uh, first uh, part of our third grade year is learning the elements of art. All right, and handy dandy here, it's great that I have a wonderful visual aid for this. I've got the elements of art, all right? I made this little art palette to kind of show you the different elements of art, okay? So that, as you can see, there are several different elements of art. The first project that we are going to do today uh, is gonna focus on line and texture. So line, you've been using lines in art for years. You've been able to draw uh, straight lines, zigzag lines, all sorts of different lines, all right? Texture is, we've used this a little bit, is when you're adding uh, lines to, to, to the picture, to make it look like you could reach out and touch that object and it would feel just how it how it looks. So for my owl here, I've made him his given him some little like uh, scoop lines there to kind of make it look like he's got feathers, right? So it looks like if I reached out and touched him, he would be uh, soft and feathery, right? On the moon, I've given little dots, those little craters to kind of show the craters in the moon, right? So you're adding extra lines uh, and things to, to build that texture up to show that it uh, feels a certain way. You can see for the tree bark, uh, I went ahead and did some lines to make it look like uh, like tree bark looks, like it'd be a little rough, like it would be a little bumpy. All right, so that is line and texture, and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be focusing on lines and texture. First, let's go over some of our lines. I know you've seen this poster hanging out in my room before. This is my beautiful example of just some of the many, many different lines in the world. You have straight lines, hills, you can make little dots, zigzags, dash line, clouds, castle, loops, waves, mouse ears, all sorts of different fun, awesome lines that you can use in your artwork. Yes. All right. And there's so many more out there. The more you draw, the more kinds of lines that you will find. Yes. All right. So today for our first lesson of the year, I thought we'd start back with something a little soft. So we're going to do our texture and line. I'm going to show you how to step by step make this picture of an owl on a tree branch with the moon behind him and all that goodness. Okay. So first things first, you're going to need a pencil and a paper. If you don't already have a pencil and a paper, go and get one. Okay. Go grab a pencil and a paper. Meanwhile, I'm going to hang this up so you can see it. Awesome. All right. Got your pencil and your paper. Yes. Awesome. Right. Remember, I'm going to kind of roll at my pace. If you need to go a little slower, you can pause this video. You can rewind it. That's the great thing about being on video is you can pause it, do whatever you need to do to stay with me. All right. Awesome. So and you can watch as many times as you want to, as many times as you need to. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this uh, using my whiteboard. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a box and that's going to be that box is going to be my paper. So this box is now my paper. Awesome. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do to make my owl, okay, I'm gonna make my owl over here and I'm gonna start by drawing a nice letter U. So if you draw the letter U on your paper, there you go. That's gonna be his body. All right. On top of that, I'm gonna flip that U upside down and I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Watch what I do. I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna go, ooh, and do a smaller one. You can do that as many times as you need to to get something that you like, okay? Do that as many times as you need to. Erase, try again, all right? It's okay, all right? Just do it till you get something that you're like, ooh, I like that. That's a good owl body and a good owl head, okay? Next, we're gonna add some ears. Owls have those little pointy ears that stick, kind of stick up, all right? So I'm gonna start up here on that head. I'm gonna make a triangle going up and then down, up and then down, okay? I know right now that kind of looks like a kitty cat, but we'll fix it and make it more like an owl. Don't worry. We'll do that later. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give him those wings, all right, that are kind of to the side. They're on the side of his body. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line up on this side and a line up on this side. Okay. So one line going up on this side, one line going up on this side. 
Next, I'm going to give him a nose. His nose is a triangle, okay? It's a triangle that's upside down. It's pointing down. So what I'm going to do to do that, I'm going to start right here on his face. I'm going to go across, down, and then up. So across, down, and up. Get that upside down triangle going. Awesome. You got it? Okay. Now we need two big eyeballs. Remember, uh, owls have very big eyes, okay? So go ahead. Ooh, one big eye, two big eyes, right? They're just circles. And I like to have my circles kind of on either side of that nose. So if you want to draw the whole circle and then just erase that bit of line, you can do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put two little dots in there. One, two. All right. Now on the side of his uh, on the side of his eyes, we're going to start by adding a little texture. This is our first little texture that we're going to do. We're going to do a little squiggle line on this side and a little squiggle line on this side. Awesome. That makes it look like he's got that kind of a pattern going around his eyeballs. All right. Next, we're going to do a little bit of texture right here where it kind of looks like he's a little fluffy right here. He's got a little bit of feather. We're just going to do that by in between where we've got these wings. I'm going to go ahead and do a squiggle line. Okay, awesome. Then I'm gonna do two more lines on these wings. One, two on each side. One, two. Kind of make make it look like he's got several feathers on those wings. All right. And then to make his tummy feathers look nice and soft, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do, and you can see it on my line poster here, the cloud lines is what I used to make those kind of tummy feathers. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here on his tummy and I'm gonna do doing little scoops as I go to make his tummy look soft. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give him some little feet. His little feet are, if I do two little lines down and then do a little squiggle line that connects them, one foot, I'm going to do the second foot, same way, two little lines down, and then a little squiggle line that connects them. Awesome. All right. <laughs> so now I've got my owl. I'm going to add a little texture to his ears to make them look less cat-like. So on the top of his ears, I'm actually going to draw three little lines. Watch this. One, two, three. One, two, three. So they've got those little, little tufts of hair on top of their ears. There you go. I'm also going to take my eraser, okay? And I'm going to erase those lines that cut across the ears, just like that. Boop. Perfect. Now i got my little owl. All right, now it's time to do the tree branch. Are you ready? All right, we got to do more lines. Okay, so we're going to start over here, and I'm actually going to start right under where his uh, little feet are. I'm going to go out. I'm going to stop here before I get to the edge of the paper, and I'm going to go down and come back all the way to the other side. All right? And your line doesn't have to be straight. It actually looks even better if your line's a little bumpy. All right, because uh, tree branches are not straight lines. They're kind of bumpy. All right. Now I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go at this other foot. I'm going to go and come back, and I'm going to go up a little bit. Here we go. Make it look like that branch is connecting back to that tree. I'm even going to add a little stick. You can see I've got a little, like, twig right here kind of coming off of that tree branch. All right, so I'm going to add a little, it's kind of like a triangle coming off of there. And then I'm going to erase this line that I can't see. Okay. There we go. Now I've got a nice little tree branch. Okay. Are you ready to add the texture? Yes? Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do this in a different color so you can see it better, okay? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my blue for this. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, keep using your pencil for this. I'm just using a different color. I'm just using a color so that you can actually like see it. All right, uh, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your pencil and you're going to, on your tree branch, pick some spots to start doing some ovals around ovals. So what that is, and I'm gonna show you bigger so that you can see it. What I'm doing on this tree branch is I'm basically going little oval, bigger oval, bigger oval, okay? I'm just doing that a bunch of times on the tree branch. So just pick some spots, do a little oval, do a bigger one around it, and then a bigger one around that. Keep doing that. Little oval, bigger oval. So pick a few spots to do that. 
but that's not it, all right? That's not the end of it, okay? So we picked a few spots. We've done a few of these little ovals with little ovals inside of them, all right? And remember, they don't have to be perfect because normally when you'd be doing an oval, you'd be like this, right? It's okay if it's a little wobbly, all right? Because remember, it's on a tree branch. It's organic, all right? So it's can, it can be a little bit funky, all right? Uh, the lines don't have to be perfect on that. Okay, then I'm going to show you different colors so you can see this, all right? You're going to take your pencil... <laughs> And you're going to start doing lines. You see how these lines are going across the tree branch, right? But they're also going around all the circles that I've made. So you're basically doing lines that are going around those little circles that you've made, and they're going all the way to the end of that tree branch. I'm going to keep making lines. If I get to, if I start going and then I hit uh, a, uh, a little circle, one of the little circles I made, I'm just going to go around it, all right? Go around it. There you go. Going around it. And make some lines to make it look like, voila, you've got some tree texture there. Yes. All right. Using your vocab word. Don't forget, while you're doing this project, use your vocab words as much as possible. You can say to yourself or you can say to whoever you're hanging out with right now, uh, hey, I'm drawing my lines. Hey, I'm adding my texture, all right? And um, be sure to point out where you're adding lines and texture while you do that. Okay, so now we've got an owl, nice fluffy owl on a tree branch, okay? Next, we're going to add that moon, okay? So we're going to get our pencil. Now, I did one of those, uh, it's kind of the crescent moon is what we call it, but if you want to do a full moon, you can just draw a circle. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw backwards. There we go. Oop. All right, I'm just going to draw this guy and then boop, another one right in there, okay? And you can do that as many times as you want. I'm even going to do a little editing here. You can do that as many times as you want. Get it to where you like it. Get it to where you're like, ooh, I like that moon, all right? But get it to that and then add with your pencil. Remember, add some dots. You can add some dots. You can add some circles. Those are going to be the craters, the crater texture, in your moon okay Let's do that a few times awesome give that moon plenty of texture okay now behind the moon we're gonna draw some lines and you could use lines like the ones I use from the line chart or you can just choose your own all right but go ahead and add some lines to your background you just take your pencil I'm gonna do straight line then we do a wavy one do a zigzag. Might do the clouds. There we go. Maybe a twirly line, one of those loop de loops. I love those. A good loop de loop line. All right. There you go. Going across the sky. Awesome. Okay. Now that you've got that in the background, all right it's time for you to color in, okay? I use paint, but you don't have to. Just use whatever you've got at home, whatever works, all right? And you guys have been with me for a little while, so you remember, of course, that I showed you that trick. What you can do is you can take the marker, color in, and then take a paintbrush, all right? Take a paintbrush, take some water, dip that paintbrush in the water, and then put the wet paintbrush on the marker, and it turns the marker into paint, which is pretty cool. So you can do that if you got markers. You can use colored pencils. You can use crowns. You can use whatever to color in, all right? But use something to color it in. Uh, give it that nice color. I did a fun repeating uh, colors for my background there, uh, uh, for my lined sky there. But this is just a great lesson to get you started on the elements of art uh, with line and texture. Be sure to be using your vocabulary words when you're uh, doing this. And your, your, if you want to choose this to be your uh, picture to turn into me for a grade, um, you snap a picture of it and then send it to me on Remind or through Gmail. And I want you to, to not only send me this one, if you're going to send this as a grade, send me this picture that you made with me.
and then I want you to show me one more, all right? And this one's gonna be you just doing your best, doing your lines and your textures. So you get to pick what you're drawing, all right? But just include some lines and textures. So you could draw an object at home and you add a little bit of texture there. Uh, maybe you see something soft and you add some lines that are, you're like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna add a couple lines to make that look soft. Maybe I'm gonna add some dots to show that it's a little bit rough, all right? So you're gonna do your uh, best to just do your lines and your texture and share that with me, okay? So I wanna see the one that you did together with me and then I wanna see the one that you did on your own. Uh, like I said, uh, this is just for me to kinda see, oh hey, like you got a chance to go out there and try lines and texture uh, without me, which is pretty cool, all right? So turn those in. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, little lesson about line and texture. Uh, remember to be using uh, those vocabulary words uh, as you uh, describe your art to people. And I hope you had a great time, enjoy! I'll I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.